kids how are you all i hope you are enjoying today i'm here with a new chapter chapter number 9 air and atmosphere today we are going to learn about air its percentage in our nature and different components of air like oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen and many more so let's begin chapter number 9 air and atmosphere well we'll start with let's go observe the given picture carefully and mention any three situation where air is being used can you mention three situations where air is being used yes clothes are drying can you see these clothes are drying with help of air curtains are flying can you see movement in this curtain they are flying due to air fan is throwing air can you see fan is throwing air due to which papers are moving so we have three situations over here first one clothes are drying curtain is flying and fan is throwing air due to which our papers are moving very good components of air air is mixture of many gases as we all know we have variety of gases that makes up our air well it contains almost 78% of nitrogen and about 21% of oxygen can you see in this pie chart major amount of air is occupied by nitrogen that is 78% whereas oxygen has occupied 21% and 1% or less than 1% is occupied by mixture of other gases it's so less when we compare with oxygen and nitrogen well the remaining 1% consist of gases such as carbon dioxide ozone and argon along with water vapor and dust particles as only 1% consist of other gases in which we have carbon dioxide ozone argon and along with water vapor yes we do have water vapor in our air and dust particles well different gases have different roles in our lives following our few oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide argon and water will study about each gases and their roles in our lives first one oxygen oxygen is needed by plants and animals oxygen also supports burning we all know we need oxygen to survive because we inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide oxygen not only support plant and animal life but it is also a very major factor for burning we cannot burn anything or the process of burning is not possible without support of oxygen so oxygen plays a major role in lives of plants and animals and it is also very important for burning so 
Now we can see why oxygen is so important. We cannot survive without oxygen at all. Next one is nitrogen. As we all know, nitrogen is major component of air as it covers 78% of our total air. Well, nitrogen present in the air controls burning. Yes, without nitrogen, small fire will become big one and unstoppable. As we learned that oxygen supports fire and if nitrogen is not there, small fire will become big one and unstoppable means if a single forest or tree catches the fire if nitrogen is not present it is capable of burning whole forest so nitrogen indeed plays a major role in our environment as it controls fire which may lead to many disastrous events well next one is carbon dioxide plants absorb carbon dioxide to prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis well carbon dioxide plays a very major role in producing plant food by the process of photosynthesis without carbon dioxide plants will not be able to prepare their food for the process of photosynthesis they need sunlight carbon dioxide water plant take carbon dioxide and release oxygen so carbon dioxide plays a major role in preparation of food for plant without carbon dioxide plants will not be able to prepare their food argon it is present in very small amount it is mainly used in light bulbs and tube lights argon is present in very less amount in our nature but it is very useful as it is used in tube lights and bulbs without argon we won't be able to light a night because we need argon as a very important component to light our house because it is present in tube lights and bulbs well water it is present in air as water vapor when you boil water you can see water vapors over it they are very light weight and they flies to another place water vapor is very very important for cloud formation if we don't have water vapor there won't be any cloud formation and we won't be receiving any rain so water vapor plays a major role for our life sources well did you know addition of smoke dust ash and gases such as carbon monoxide can make the air dirty and unfit for breathing have you heard about air pollution yes these gases are responsible for air pollution they make our air unfit for breathing Today, air pollution is a major concern 
that we all should take care about as we all know industrial release and vehicle release are increasing air pollution day by day and making our air unfit for breathing so we should try to stop increasing air pollution to lead a healthy life well let's recall what we learned today we learned about components of air that is nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide argon and water vapor well i hope this video was of great help till i see you for the next time stay safe